Today is going to be a little bit different from our normal videos as far as starting out the video. Yep. As you guys know, we usually go around to different um, shed companies and we kind of tour their sheds for you guys so you don't have to. We also do mobile homes, tiny houses, stuff park like that. models, all sorts of different things to do the footwork so you guys don't have to drive all over the place and it bit us in the butt. Per se. So a while back, Dirksen started using our photos on their Instagram page and a lot of you guys actually tagged us and let us know. I reached out to them um, on Instagram and they said that they, they apologized and they said that from now on they will tag us and the stuff that they use. And everything was good. And then recently um, on their Facebook page, someone tagged, or they were using our photos and uh, Jason commented and, and left the link and said, hey, that's our house, blah, blah, blah. And then they started, people started asking about the porch and they were saying that they build them, this and that. Well, no credit at all to I us. I commented and I said, that's actually my brother-in-law's house and my husband built that porch. That wasn't Dirksen that built it. And, and a lot of our viewers were commenting saying, hey, this is the Crocker's house. Why are you not giving them credit? And then they deleted all of our comments except Jason's where Jason just said, hey, this is our house. And then they messaged me and they threatened to block me and they were pretty upset that I, I commented again and said, wow, you deleted all of the comments. And so we got a message from the owner or manager at the Gettings Texas Enterprise Center um, Dirksen dealer place and this is what it says so i'm going to kind of just pick and choose here and there i'm going to put it on the screen you can pause it and read the whole thing if you want we don't want this to be a super long video but basically said hey jaylena tom here from enterprise center at gettings texas i wanted to drop a note in response to your and jason's comment on facebook um you know on friday the dirts and facebook page it said uh enterprise center is one of the top dealers in the dirts and building buildings in texas because of this they give permission to use any images um you know they want pretty much on facebook if we have a problem with it we could talk to dirksen about it i'm paraphrasing you can read it yourself um to me kind of childish to say that if you have a problem go talk to them um, dirksen we were really hoping if you're given permission to use our photos you would tell them to uh link us that's i think fair for using our photos that we let you use for free. And then, then he says, to be fair, please remember that Jason came to our lot at one point and did a bunch of filming and made references to buildings on our lot. Some of which fact, some of the facts which were incorrect, but not one time, not one time gave Enterprise Center credit or mentioned our name in the video. So if you're, gonna ins if you're going to insist that people acknowledge you guys, at least be fair about your request by extending the same request back. Watch this. So this one is unfinished and it's not going to get built any more than it is now. That's how the customer wanted it. Here, we're in Giddings, Texas at the Durson dealer. So maybe we didn't say Enterprise Center, but we said we're in Giddings, Texas at the Dirksen dealer. Here, we're in Giddings, Texas at the Dirksen dealer. If you get on Google and you type in Dirksen dealer in Giddings, Texas, nothing but Enterprise Centers pops up. So we gave them fair advertising, I think. Well, I didn't even know that it was Enterprise. To me, it's just a Dirksen dealer. Yeah. But so, that's just me and I'm, I guess, the average person. Yeah, and so it really, to me, it wasn't that big of a deal, but they wanted to make it a big deal. So said, we work hard to build our brand as it appears you guys do, uh, do too. Yes, we do. We are very lucky that we're one of the top shed to house people on YouTube. We're not the top one, but we're one of them. Our videos are very known on the interwebs. And um, we try very, very hard to go around and do the footwork for everyone and show off different places and why we think shed to house is better than mobile homes park models tiny homes and all that stuff and in the video we did nothing but promote this place and i mean said how awesome they build stuff uh said where we were at i even showed the brochure and pointed and it shows the address and phone number um you guys can see that right now as i'm talking about it so it just blows my mind that this guy says not once did you recognize us and then he pretty much said um but again i ask that if you're going to make negative 
confrontational responses on our post that you extend the same respect back. All we said was, hey, can you give us credit? Now, if anyone else, some of you viewers commented on it, so you can comment on this video, so you guys know we're not making this up. Um, we said nothing wrong. We basically said, hey, we've already talked to Dirksen. Please give us credit if you're gonna use our photos. That is it. And people were even posting this in the Crocker family group saying, hey, you guys check this out. And I said, no, we gave Dirksen permission to use it. And they pretty much said, well, you're not getting um, talked about. And so we went and said, hey, can you at least tag us? Because that was the agreement. And they basically said, well, I left Jason's comment. I didn't delete it. No, I had to put the link on there because they didn't. That's what I'm saying. No, I know that's what I'm saying is I had to put the link. They didn't do it. They didn't acknowledge it whatsoever, even when we asked them to um, and told them that's what Dirksen told us they would do. They pretty much said, nope, and uh, wrote us this email. And then he says, I'm sending this in a personal message to extend to you the respect you failed to give Enterprise Center when you posted publicly this incorrect and incomplete negative information on our, on our page. Please understand that if your future posts continue to be unfair and negative, they will be deleted. They, we did nothing but positive stuff. This is crazy. They are writing directly to me, and all I said was that Jason built the porch, which is accurate and true. Yep. That, that is my brother-in-law's house, which is accurate and true. Yes. And then I said, wow, you deleted all the comments because all you guys were commenting as well. And they then sent me all of this. Yeah. Then from the Dirksen Building um, Enterprise Center Facebook page, they sent another message and it says, Jaylena, we don't want to play games. I PM'd you the other day. We have no problem giving you guys credit. In fact, we left Jason's comment giving the link to your page. If you guys are going to, going to continue to push this, I will ban you from our page altogether. So again, this is directly towards me, and they did not give us credit. They no. just left Jason's comment. And it's clearly our house on there. It's Jared's house, in fact, that we built. After all that was said and done, I came inside, as you can tell. It's 10, 13 a.m., September 13th, and here is the uh, post right here from August 30th. They posted at 10 a.m. It's got two comments. It had a lot more than that. Let's see. They deleted all of our stuff. So what size is it? That's a 60 by 50. They deleted every comment, even our link, after all that. So we didn't want this whole video to be some big rant and stuff. This is just our opinion on why we're choosing at this moment not to go with Dirksen Buildings. We just went the other day to a local place down here in South Texas that I actually know the people. They have never treated us bad. Um, but the fact that our video has 231,000 views and it was saying nothing but nice things about that place in particular in Giddings, Texas, and he's bashing us, saying that we didn't give them credit at all, we're being rude and all this stuff. They will never get our business. That place in Giddings will never, ever, ever get my business. And we have been there multiple times looking at their buildings because they make very large buildings and they finish them out and stuff. And it's a bummer, guys. We promoted them and said nothing but nice things and then he bashes us like that. And to me, it was kind of childish the way he did it. So, I am not bashing Dirksen in whole. I would never do that. But As you guys know, we built the Dirksen house, and we've always talked highly of always. Dirksen buildings. That's probably one of our absolute favorite, other than Lone Star. And then they treat us that way. So, that's that. Um, that's our reasoning why. At this point, we are not going to go with Dirksen Sheds. If we do a shed to house, it we may. will be a different company, or we might just build it from the ground up. Yep, so that kind of... Uh, threw our plans up in the air so we just wanted to let you guys know since we were about to start another one and we were looking at Dirksen we may not so let's get on with our day we put that behind us um, it's a shame but today's Friday the 13th I'm excited want to go get tattoos no <laughs> All right, so it started to rain on us, and I think it's supposed to be rainy all day, so we're gonna call it a day for this video. Um, we are going live tonight, probably around six or seven, something like that, Texas time, 
And uh, we will be in Kingsville, Texas tomorrow celebrating the opening of Dove season. It is Fiesta de Paloma, I think is what it's called. Um, but we will be there. It's going to be around the um, King Ranch Saddle Shop area, old town. So if you guys want to meet up, it is going on from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. in Kingsville, Texas. You can Google it and find the address and all that. But is it is the Fiesta de Paloma. So check that out. It's opening season. There's going to be free food, uh, vendors, uh, free live music, and just a lot of fun and stuff like that. So we will see you guys there tomorrow. We'll see you tonight going live. It's raining, guys. Unfortunately, it's been raining a lot. So we're going to call it a day. As always, if you enjoy our videos, please hit subscribe, hit the notification button, and thanks to WeBoost, we have 4G internet out here. Well, not internet, cell phone service. 4G internet. Ugh. 4G cell phone service. Um, so if you're interested, there's a link down below. We'll put the link below for the video that we're talking about this whole thing and all the stupid comments we got from it. It's a bummer, but it is what it is, guys. Uh, we're going to move on Friday the 13th. See you guys tonight when we go live.